So, yeah, we said what furries love to do. One of the things they seem to always love to do with their little meetups and stuff like that is go bowling. Hey, bowling's interesting. Every yeah, but once it costs, in a while. it's expensive. It's like like two dollars for shoes, and then it's like another five bucks to play all night. It's like seven dollars. Oh, ours is fifteen. Fifteen dollars. Yeah, yeah, you might not ridiculous. even want to pay. You just go hang out. Yeah. Well, we have an alternative. There's a solution. Stay at your home but and play friends. CompuBowl. CompuBowl from Sears. Sears. Now see, for ages five and up, it's the handheld electronic bowling game. Yeah, for furries and grandma. This tells you grandma. how to play it. It's something your parents might have played. You got a straight ball button and a curved ball button. You can realistic Balls. sound of ball hitting pins, accompanied by the flashing lights and ringing of bells. I don't know any bowling lanes that have ringing bells. Yeah. We picked this up, um, what, last week? Two weekends ago. I picked this up at a local yard sale for $2. Uh, like, young black girl was selling. She's like, oh, you can have that thing for $2. I'm like, yeah, I'll take that for $2. Made in Japan. Everything else they had was kind of, it was a lot of toys, but it wasn't anything really neat. It was kind of junky. Most of the stuff they had. Like, yeah. Whoop. 1979, original box. Original styrofoam. Styrofoam, packaging, and the instructions even came with it. And a scorecard. Yeah, and has scorecards built into it for some reason. So, there's Sears. Sears and Roebuck. Back then, even, they were still using the Roebuck. Huh. And this is your game. See, I think this thing's really neat. It's neat, but it doesn't have much replay value. Yeah, you can see the bell in there. And Once you master it. Yeah, it's partly actually mechanical, and it's partly... Electronic. Electronic, yeah. You see, which you got your, your frame switch here, which is just... Uh, now we're on frame something. Yeah. Basically, what you do is you turn it on. If I can turn it on. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And then you hit reset. Sets the pins. And then you pull down... The charge slide. And uh, you hit the straight ball button. Bam! I don't know any bowling lanes that sound that way, though. Yeah, I don't know how to sound like that. Let me see the instructions here. Right. They explain. Oh, they explain how it works. Bam! See, why do, why do we go to bowling meets when we can just go to someone's house and pass Lights it around? Before. You don't even have to... I mean, yeah. I can get infinite frames on it. There we go. Yeah, that that's the, um, according to the instructions, which is kind of odd here. The Beep. ball makes a power sound when rolling on the lane. Is hmm. that a bowling term? Sounds like power to me. Bam! No? Not really. I don't understand. Power sound. I like how this is not actually multiple LEDs. This is just one LED that oh, they move like around. Crash. See? It's smooth. It's like unlimited FPS right there. That's like... And um, ours, for some reason, this uh, crown yeah. logo is supposed to light up when you get a strike like that. And ours doesn't. Yeah, I think it's a regular bulb, bulb in there. It's not an LED in there. It's actually one of those old bulbs, yeah. What is it? When you get a strike or spare, the crown lights with a bright red color. Oh, it's British? Color? Color. Ooh. Ooh, fancy. Fancy British colors, or maybe that's how they always spelled it back then. Until we started really not caring about our languages. I like the, um, this is used, of course, when we got a game here. It says From cards. 1979, Tommy, Maine, Japan. Yeah, all the good stuff back when we were in Japan. For the Chinese started to really get into it. So we have this uh, partly filled out scorecard here. Complete a game. Between, dad did uh, not do very good. No, Dad did horrible. There's Dad. Dad couldn't even really write either. I think Dad had some problems. My dad's a four-year-old. Who's that? Jen? It looks like ten. Jen. Jen, Tom, Dad, Tom, and Terry. Um, Tom and Terry kind of quit early along in the game. and <laughs> like, this is stupid. Yeah, and Jen got it. Jen, like, rocked that. Jen and Tom were good at it. She was 
really rocking it there at the end. And then you had Dad, and Dad's just kind of like... <clears throat> Yeah, one thing I noticed... How's this? This doesn't work like my car. There's an easy way to get a perfect strike on this every time is you wait yeah. till the light gets to about here, and then you push the other button and go and get a strike almost every That's time. That's the lack of the replay value. See? Yeah, once you get that down, I think we're more savvy than they were back like in the late 70s, early 80s. They kind of just were confused about how to work a game and... So yeah, just just mash on it, beat the hell out of it. Once you figure that out, you're just kind of like strike, 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 strike. Yeah, I like how it looks though. It's neat. It's really neat for two bucks. There's one on eBay right now. That's it. So it's a neat find. The sound of power. That can't be bowl. Don't go out to the bowling alley. Just stay at home like yeah. you usually do. Yeah, stay at home. <laughs> be a furry. You know, even works in a basement. It works anywhere. Yeah. Awesome. You can play it in your shed, where you live, anywhere. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, we're going to have things that suck after this, but we just wanted to get a couple things we're kind of neat out of the way for this week. Tomorrow, back to things that suck. It's great. <laughs>